my skin is glowing, my energy is flowing, confidence growing, glow up is loading. When I look in the mirror, I see everything I want and everything I can ever need. I attract success, success I achieved. Today, now that we are addressing the toxicity of male pundits in hip hop culture and how a lot of the toxic shit they say about women and getting in women's business really does reverberate throughout black culture and black audiences and really does like affect the trajectory of artists' career and just, you know, how seriously people take artists and all type of shit like that. I'm sitting here, I'm watching this clip, you know, like, yeah, we already know Ebro was a fucking yellow cornbread, jiffy box head ass, fucking dry beard cornball. We already knew that, you know what I'm saying? But, but, Peter Rosenberg, you not off the hook either. Because I will say this time and time again, and of course, the barbs, you're going to be like, I see this always flip flopping, da 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 But this, this is me speaking objectively, right? So these men in hip hop do all kind of sell out shit all the fucking time. You know what I mean? No male in hip hop jumped up to be like Snoop Dogg, what the fuck are you doing on TV making sugar cookies with Martha Stewart? This ain't this ain't real rap. This ain't hip hop. But here is this black woman, Nicki Minaj, like really like fucking these white bitches up, like fucking the pop sector up. When Starships went number two, like the white girls were really fucking shook. Bitches were shook. Gaga was shook. Katy Perry was shook. Bitches were shook. And then, like, y'all really just put this narrative out about how she's not keeping it real and, like, really kind of, like, chastised her into minimizing herself into this. Yeah, y'all really made her minimize herself into this little kinds of, like, round the way, ghetto, streets, like, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, tried to make her prove her streetsness. Like, no, nigga, the point of fucking making music and doing all this shit so you can get out of the hood, you know? And then on top of that, she's, she's a theater school kid. Like, that, 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 those eras, those early Nicki Minaj eras were some of the most fucking genius eras in music. Like, from the marketing to the song choices to the everything. And now y'all really got her, like, trying to prove... I don't know. It goes back to all those unwritten rules of blackness that change every fucking day. Although I will always think that Little Kim is the matriarch of it all. And she does not get enough respect for her contributions to American women's culture in general. What Nicki Minaj was doing with all of that pop music and stuff was showing little black girls, hey, you don't have to just, you know be in the hood with a bunch of fucking niggas and like feed feed a whole bunch of fucking niggas and then when you go to jail they turn their back on you like no you can actually like be out here and have your own shit and really run your own fucking shit and really be the queen of your own shit and you could be goofy and you could be silly and you can you can you can be whoever you want you don't have to just be like you know a ghetto caricature Yes, I did have an edible. I had an edible gummy bear, and this probably is totally just some pothead speaking, but I really do think that Starships was a pivotal moment, especially when you talk about the intersection of social media, technology, DSPs, um, just the internet age. When you talk about like the, the intersection of all of that, with black women's culture and music and hip-hop that was a very fucking pivotal moment and a lot of you dusty niggas really squandered it like you guys really fucking squandered it i don't know i'm trying to make this point without insulting anyone or see look growth Zelia's growing she's growing i'm trying to make my point without insulting anyone or putting anyone down or saying that 
anyone's contributions, any female's contributions to hip hop are, you know, less or more important than the other. But I, I really do feel like that was a pivotal moment in hip hop, especially considering the fact that Young Money was, was really a, a black enterprise. And they had an artist that they were moving into spaces where, you know, she's doing songs with Britney Spears and she's in pop categories and all type of shit like that. Like, shit that our beloved Beyonce, like, be fighting for. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Like, they, they won't even put Beyonce in the fucking pop category. It's always, like, urban, R&B, soul, whatever. To be honest, all of that quote-unquote non-keeping it real pop music that you guys chastised Nicki Minaj into a corner for making, you guys are celebrating Doja Cat's less clever version made by white guys, you know, made by fucking Dr. Luke and whatever, like, team of, like, white people out there, y'all are, like, celebrating that as rap. I mean, like, come on, if you guys are really such hip-hop purists, like, can we please be real? Like, let's just get real. Again, this is not a slight at Doja Cat or anything, but I'm just saying, hip-hop niggas, you little hip-hop pundits, can you please shut the fuck up? Because I've, I've been in this shit for 10 years, and I've watched you guys just fucking run your fucking mouths, like, run your fucking mouths. I don't know if it's corporate interest that got y'all niggas talking. I don't know if it's sexual frustration or straight up pure jealousy, but yeah, no, it's like, nah, nah, y'all can, can't keep doing this. I've been in this shit for 10 years and I've watched you guys just really just fucking like play with bitches and play on bitches times and maybe 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 there are some girls that are like, you know, maybe, maybe it really doesn't bother some women, you know, but that's not. It's, it's, it's that that doesn't give you a right to do it and like try to test test women's gangsta or whatever the fuck like no like women register like psychologically we register a male threat as a male threat and it's not fun it doesn't feel good it doesn't make you feel safe it doesn't make you necessarily enthusiastic about just please kindly realize this is not the barbershop. And that shit is really fucking stressful. Like, it's very stressful. Very, 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 very fucking stressful. Very, very stressful. And stress takes a big toll on the body. So just please, niggas, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Y'all have, like, I've, I've been sitting here for the last 10 years, like, watching y'all egg on between like female rappers and all type of shit like that like it's just like and and egg on fights between male rappers and shit and look at look at the rate at which like male rappers are dying and getting murdered like wow this shit's happening like way too closely together i've never i've never witnessed no shit like this in my life and this shit is really all getting real fucking ghetto and a lot of a lot of this shit be getting egged on by y'all little hip hop pundit niggas. Like I don't know, like oh, like who sent y'all? Are y'all like the hip hop police or some shit? Are y'all y'all niggas work for the fucking CIA or some shit like that? Like what are y'all in here to do? Other than like stress bitches out and like rile shit up and just yeah. Set the stage for niggas to get killed because niggas are like reading shit on the internet. Like the shit is real fucking sinister and real fucking weird. And y'all are like fucking with the culture. And none of y'all niggas could rap anyway. None of y'all niggas could rap and none of y'all niggas could make no fucking music. Y'all niggas could not make a fucking starships. You niggas could not make a fucking two one two. You niggas could not do any of this shit. I want all y'all to shut up. Like, just be Carson Daly and do, do the countdown. Do the countdown and get out of here.